Hump day. It's not hump day. We had to skip hump day. Oh yeah. Today is Thursday. Because you messed it up. I did mess it up. Thursday. Thursday. Our Friday. Well, sometimes Thursdays are the middle of the week for some people. True. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the week for us. All right. Well, hump day huddle. We had to uh, postpone it today because of me. I was right in the middle of milling a three unit bridge and everything was going just right. And I started cleaning up our training room and this moron turned off my speed fire. And for those in the circ world knows that if the speed fire ain't on, it uh, ain't working. It ain't working. And so I went to the speed fire to, to center it and you know what, it wasn't there. So it put us about an hour behind and it ran into our hump day huddle. So anyway, we had to move it to thir and move it to Thursday and we're calling this Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. So what are you drinking in your cup? Probably something. I'll never tell. <laughs> never tell. But hey, we got an extra bit bridge if anybody um I do have an extra bridge. <laughs> And uh, we, one thing I think we do really well is whenever we have a mistake like this, whatever, we keep them. Yeah. And what do you, what do you, yeah. where do you put them? We're up, up in a little jar, <laughs> you know. I, I use them actually when I'm talking to patients and explaining to them anything. I mean, we've had electricity go off in the middle of milling mm -hmm. um, an Emacs crown, and so it's kind of half milled. And so it's a really cool thing to show the patient. So, I mean, might as well save it might as well save it yeah and, and this three unit bridge uh, we're going to leave it on the on the post yeah. and the funny thing about this is like when you take zirconia and you say here hold this uh -huh. like feel how heavy that is yeah, like, oh wow it's so heavy yeah. they don't know it's never been they've never held it ever but it you got yeah. got something to show so yeah make something uh, positive out of uh, something, something negative. negative but that three unit bridge went right in. We didn't adjust no one place. Adjustments. No adjustment. No adjustment. So adjust it anywhere. did make up for it. Yep. All right. So uh, we had a drawing for the winner of our Emacs CAD. So yep. we're going to give that out to um, Nomi Mujahid. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, we'll get it sent out to you. We'll, we'll message you on Facebook and get your address and send it off to you. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, a sleeve of Emacs HTA2 coming out your way. Uh, we're giving out uh, a couple other things today, and this is from Harvest Dental, which Sasha Drabanazian, who's a super great guy. Awesome he's, he's one of the best guys in dentistry. Yeah. Would you not agree? I agree totally. Uh, James Clem and I interviewed him during um, the kind of the shutdown of the country and just really ins inspirational. So if you want to check that out over on the Dental Show Live, I, I highly suggest you see his show. And go like him on Facebook. I mean, he always posts such great inspirational things, you know, and if you're mm -hmm. having a bad day, I mean, he just, he posts a lot of really neat stuff. He's just a really cool guy. Yep. So you'll find him at uh, Harvest Dental and uh, he's always we sponsored our courses here in Austin and uh, we're, we're grateful to that and so he makes one of the coolest products and it's a peg material which you wouldn't think that well that's so great but uh, his works out so well one his packaging is brilliant uh, but two it doesn't leave residue inside the mm -hmm. crowns so no I was reading something when I was looking um, through his brochure and um, oh no, maybe it was on the back of that. Just the way they smile, you're about to be refreshed. <laughs> I mean, there is no um, say goodbye to residue forever. Yes. So anyway, uh, if you like or share this or leave us a comment during this, and uh, we'll put you in a in a drawing, and you'll win it next week, and we'll get it yeah. sent out to you. You'll you'll love this stuff. So that's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got? We're going to talk about oh. Um, Oh, a cracked tooth. Uh, we had earlier this week a gentleman that had broken his tooth or cracked it at least, you know, pain on biting and, yeah. you know, the typical uh, symptoms. And we restored it. And, you know, usually the, um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, standard of care is, you know, you have to have full coverage and, you know, full coverage can mean a lot of things to those that are in the CEREC world. But if you're outside the CEREC world, you tend to always do full coverage where you surround the whole tooth structure. You take a lot of tooth structure away. away. And, you know, if you don't have to hang a temporary on it, you don't have to remove right. so yeah. much tooth structure. And so uh, we made 
this. This is uh, what we call a shouldered V prep, but other people call it a crown lay. And uh, a lot of discussion about it on uh, Keep Sericking right now. But what I love about the doing this and, and holding a crack in the tooth together is that we can be extremely conservative. And we're just basically taking the, the top of it off you know, and giving it a shoulder all the way around in the, in the heart of enamel. So in one of my uh, courses, and I do a, a kind of a semi-private session on this discussion called Only Onlays, when you make that shoulder cut right at that, that height of contour of the molar, you're in the thickest part, thickest region mm -hmm. of enamel, and it's the most predictable area to bond to a tooth structure. So why erase all of that? Right. Well, we erase it because that's what we were taught two years ago. We just don't need to do that you anymore. Hold the temporary on. Yeah, exactly. To hold the temporary on. Well, when you mill it yourself, you don't have to. You don't no, have to do that. You don't have to do that. And I've always loved Dr. Ehrlich saying, you know, of course I've never prepped a tooth before, but he always thinks, why am I removing this? You know, and a constant reminder, like why are you, why are you taking it away? Can mm -hmm. it stay? You know, and so it's a good thing to think about. You know, you're not removing it to keep your temporary on so yeah. you can be very conservative and don't get me started on what undermined cusps mean uh, <laughs> that term just blows me away because nobody can define it nobody but anyway that's another for a tiger back um, this so uh, one of the things i i love is uh cindy came up with a concept called the uh signature crown and when you do just a few steps you can make them look really pretty much mimic uh, natural tooth mm -hmm. structure and once you go over that just a little bit on um, the signature crown you know there's two um, different styles of crowns that I do and I've had a lot of people say why would you stain a second molar you know and I do it for me um, I do it because when they come back in six months you know I'm proud of that I'm proud when we put that you know put that crown in and it looks like a natural tooth so you know we have the one we're trying to get in really quick and you know you spray glaze and you put it in and you go but um you know with a signature crown and it still is just a very few things that you need for that and you know you have your glaze and your um what is that uh, other color we use you know um <laughs> <laughs> number, number two, two brown, brown. <laughs> we use that we're, one <laughs> let's talk about that for a second because Number two brown, I have a Clarvivian that makes this shade, <laughs> could be possibly the funniest thing in dentistry to me. Because what committee decided, hey, look at this brown color. What should we call we this? We should call this number, number two, two brown. Number two brown, perfect. <laughs> and I use number two brown on almost all of uh, my restorations. I'll put it, you know, kind of at the gingival third, put it a little bit in the fissures. Um, and then women understand this a lot more than men, but you know, it's kind of like contouring our face when you put something dark next to something light, that's what gives it depth. So yeah. we use a lot of fluo also um, to put next to the number two brown. And then that's what kind of gives it um, the depth, but it looks awesome and it really does not take that long to just spend a couple of minutes and um, kind of jazz up your restoration where it looks really good. If I could, make any request to Ivoclar Vivident, don't change the name of that. Do not change the name of it because I get the He's biggest. He's like a 12 year old boy every time we teach a class about stain and glaze. What is color is it, Cindy? What color is it? What color is <laughs> it? Is it? Number ever. two brown. All right, so uh, anyway, if you check out uh, Digital Enamel TV, uh, we have an in, I, like we have multiple uh, yes. videos just on staining and glazing. In fact, one of them is an hour and a half long where we go into great detail on, on probably the most important mm -hmm. thing when it comes to uh, characterizing your restorations, and that's how to mix glaze right. and how to mix the yeah. stain. So check that out. Uh, I did produce two new videos uh, last week on DETV. Uh, it's a summary on how to do a one visit cosmetic makeover. And so check those out as well. We have, um, what else we got? I think, I think we're moving. Um, I did want to mention that I also added another uh, day for Seric Aces. Mm, um, yes. So I had a class on December 5th um, and then I've actually added Friday the 4th. So. And um, if you have any assistance or if you are an assistant and you want to come to that, um, just send me an email at cindy at digitalenamel.com and we can get you signed up for that. Yeah, and I forgot to put on our paper. Yep. Uh, one other thing in the CERC news is that uh, the 512 uh, 
came out with another update. It's a materials pack. So when you open your CERIC uh, program, you may see it. It's not a new part of the software. It's just adding more materials for your um, uh, use. And so if you have a question about that, my email is cindy at digitalenamel.com. <laughs> All right, sorry we're on Thursday, but we will see you next. We may not see you next week. That's uh, oh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know. We'll have to we'll see how see. that works out. Yeah. We'll, we'll wing it. Maybe we're on Tuesday. Maybe we'll know. eat a turkey leg during hunt day <laughs> huddle. Let's do it. <laughs>